Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody, let's take a look again on the coal market. So here is mostly we have the same action as in the euro currency. It was rather dramatic, it's a high volatility action and on the coal market it even looks more strong and more important than on the euro currency because on the euro currency we have the bullish trend and in general the performance on the intraday charts yesterday has brought no big shifts on the daily. So daily as it was bullish and remains bullish. But on the on the gold market, take a look. We have a theoretical bearish trend here in MCD, and we said that more and more signs that market starting to form kind of the bullish dynamic pressure because trend stands bearish, but price is not. And when I saw yesterday this drop, I thought, well, it seems that indeed bearish reaction still has started because we know that market stands they were bad on the monthly chart and on, on the weekly chart. And actually, deep retracement here brings really nothing um, curious, so it's uh, normal, it's logical. Uh, when the market stands overbought on the high time frames, it's normal to expect deep retracement. It's just how the market works. Uh, just I st started searching for some other patterns, maybe thinking about support areas, uh, trying to make the new trading, um, tr trading scenario, trading plan market has immediately turns up and in terms of backup so this is really uh, definitely the point in favor of the bulls because market has grabbed and created the new lows almost for the week and returns right back up and close near the top of the week so it returns back in the triangle which is important so here this spike down we could treat as a bearish trap and uh, uh, fake downside breakout of the triangle so those people who are taking the short position on this collapse now stands in the wrong direction and once market starts keep going higher so lots of screams will be let me out and market could get some more a fuel for our prediction based on the stops that have been placed those who are taking the short position here so i would treat this as a positive sign for the bulls on a lower time frame mostly despite this volatility mostly market keeps the same scenario yes i am not sure how really we could rely right now on the shape of the butterfly because here the right wing seems too extended so it's a very slow action but at the same time market stands inside and it stands forming high lows so it is it's not forming it doesn't form any bearish reversal swings and so in general major low stands here yes these minor lows have been renewed by this downside action but in general overall action remains inside of the triangle and market is um, actually keeping the bullish context here as well um, here by the way you could recognize even smaller butterfly inside so it might be left wing it might be right wing and so on so you could even use some near standing targets for this purpose um, for today i would consider this type of action the same one as in the euro currency we said and in the gold market also mostly we could apply the same thing if you use your imagination you could easily imagine that this might be treated as a large bullish engulfing pattern so first we have fast downside action and then return it back up with the same amount of candle mostly to the upside action if you just combine it you will see that it might be it's the same uh, market mechanics as a normal bullish engulfing pattern and we could start trading with this so we use this as a background with the invalidation point right below these lows and on the hourly chart we could consider some minor pullback so here's market has formed bullish reversal swing let's create the new top compared to this one uh, some, some minor retracement here to some of the levels maybe 1975 this might be considered for a possible position taken nearest target will be right there the op around 1993 but uh, if we trade this particular pattern we probably should get later different a b c d pattern to the upside something of that sort that we also could use besides we have other multiple targets as i said this butterfly might be used with the extension of this downside swing 
to the upside. You could use also the extension of this initial part of why it's also as a target. So we just will go step by step with the targets that we have for starting around 1993 and then we will see what will happen next.